Hello and welcome back to another episode of World War II History and Reenacting. On this episode of Inside the Vault, I have something very special to share with you. I recently acquired this rare and beautiful grouping of Norwegian military collectibles. These items once belonged to a man named Bent Torkelsen Løvdal. He was born in 1853 in the region of Vestagda in the south of Norway. He served in the Norwegian army as a professional soldier for an unknown period of time. In this photograph, he is wearing this very uniform, along with the non-commissioned officer shoulder boards and hat. The uniform is a Norwegian model 1894 and was used as both a field, service and parade uniform. It's made from high quality dark blue, almost black wool, with red piping. In the front there are eight silver buttons, decorated with the Norwegian lion. In the back there are six buttons, along with three more on each cuff. On the collar there is a pair of metal ciphers that read C I B, which means Kristiansandske Infantry Brigade. He was at some point promoted to the rank of Fanyunka, roughly equivalent to the rank of Command Sergeant Major, and at this point, appropriate silver rank piping was added to the cuff. Unlike the insignia on his uniform in the photograph, Officer shoulder boards has also been added to accommodate the new rank. The inside is lined with dark red silk lining, and the arms lined with white striped silk. The pants are made from the same dark blue wool with the red piping. These are actually called epaulets. They are practically a type of ornamental shoulder rank insignia for military personnel. These ones are the exact non-commissioned officer epaulets from the photograph. The uniform regulations found in the handbook for the enlisted soldier from 1892 states that the rank insignia for non-commissioned officers are distinguished by Roman numerals on the epaulets, ascending from lowest to highest. Roman numeral number one denoting the rank of sergeant, or in English, sergeant. Roman numeral number two denoting the rank of Führer sergeant roughly the equivalent to Staff Sergeant, and Roman numeral number 3, denoting the rank of Commander Sergeant, roughly the equivalent to Master Sergeant. It further states that in order to separate the different infantry brigades, color piping and golden letters are used on the shoulder insignia. In this case, the color and the letters CIB stand for Kesansanske Infantry Brigade. The battalion is to be distinguished by using letters from 1 to 4, in this case it's number 3. When this photograph was taken, based on his shoulder insignia, we can conclude that he was a non-commissioned officer with the rank of Führersergeant, or Staff Sergeant, in 3rd Battalion of the Kisansanske Infantry Brigade. He was eventually promoted to the rank of Farnjunker roughly the equivalent of Command Sergeant Major. These are officer epaulets, but they were also used by the Fanyunke, along with other officer items. The 1894 Kepi is a peak cap made from black wool with a leather visor. This one was made by Buntmaka Gustav Hansson in Kristiansand. In this photograph, this cap is seen with red rank piping from when he held the rank of Führersergeant. The red rank piping was removed and replaced with silver rank piping to accommodate his new rank of Fahnejunker. 
The cap porte paix from the photograph is missing. It was removable. The Army Shooting Medal, awarded for excellent marksmanship after 1910, is made from solid silver with red amal paint inside the Norwegian coat of arms. The handbook states that this award was to be worn on the left chest according to regulations. It's in great shape and has a beautiful patina. On the back there is a maker's mark and a silver proof mark. This is an officer portepe, or sword knot for an officer. This was also used by the Fanyunka, along with the officer shoulder boards. This is a small brass box for chewing tobacco, decorated with the Swedish coat of arms. It was patented by Reinhold Theodor Björklund and probably made at Skultuna Brassworks in Sweden. It has his initials scratched onto the front lid. And on the back there are more engravings. Among them are the dates 1818 and 1877. Inside there is even some chewing tobacco left, and it still smells like it should. This is presumably the service rifle that belonged to Bent Torkelsen. It's a 12.17mm, model 1867 Remington, with all matching numbers and original sling. The model 1867 Remington rolling block rifle was the first rifle using metallic cartridges to be adopted by the Swedish and Norwegian armies. I really hope you enjoyed this short video and until next time, auf Wiedersehen.